G'day, this is part six of the pixel control and enclosure build. Um, I sort of finished, I've got a couple more things, a few things to do, but I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown and show you a couple of the other enclosure boxes that I've built. Um, so we was up to the wiring stage, so I've done the 12 volt wiring. Uh, I've done the 240, I'm just going to get it checked out by my uh, brother electrician before I plug anything in, but hopefully you'll be right with it. Um, it's just straightforward. I have done something a little bit different on this box. Uh, as I said, this, is going, this enclosure is going to be sitting inside our garden bed. Uh, so I have our 240 volt feed. Don't worry everyone, oh, I'm not going to run it wrapped up. Our 240 volt feed coming in for our power supplies. And then I also needed a 240 volt feed to go out to my tune to sign which will be up near the letterbox uh, so instead of having to run another cable all the way out um, i decided to run another one daisy chained off just out and out so then i can have a plug to go out to my uh, tune to sign just put, and i'll just use a little uh, waterproof um, connector um, container for that to plug into. So that's all pretty straightforward. Um, these are just extension leads, which I've cut to length uh, from Bunnings. I think they're a click 10 amp lead. They're relatively cheap for about 25 meters on each one. Uh, I just thought I'd also quickly um, show you a couple of the other enclosure boxes I've built. Um, this is one I've built for, a, for another two four string receivers. Uh, but you can see with this one, I've got the F8 power distribution board. I've only got uh, three power injection ports on that one, so there's plenty of spare, plenty of room for expansion. Uh, similar setup with the power supplies. So we try to keep everything a little bit modular. So if I get a bit of a failure, it might be easier to swap, in, swap one out or something like that, but hopefully it will run okay. Um, exactly the same. Fan. Still waiting for the uh, little temperature relay for that. And you can see this one's got the pigtails all coming out, all hooked up. And again, I've got a mixed, similar lead uh, to run into my main power distribution. And also, I've mounted a Falcon F16. Yeah, this is going to run my Mega Tree into a similar box, or same box. Um, as you can see, similar power supply setup, stacked. One 240 volt feed in, uh, my Falcon F16, all my outputs. Um, and I've got two stacked F8 power distribution boards for power injection from the Megatree. Alright guys, so that's what I've been up to, um, that's my enclosures, I've got another one or two of these to build yet, it's uh, my set up for this year, but hopefully it's all coming along well, uh, if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments, okay, I hope you enjoyed it, bye.